Let us look at the chapter Why do we fall ill? Why do we fall ill? What is that condition called as? So before we see why do we fall ill, let us know about the term health. Let us know actually what is health or being healthy. So everybody, all the humans, they wanted to be healthy always. What do you need to be healthy? We need good food, good water, good air and good surroundings to be healthy. What is the state of health? What is the meaning of health? The meaning of health is well-being. That is, we should be free from diseases, we should be free from worries, we should be free from tensions, we should be free from conflicts and other quarrelings and fightings with others. So we should have a peace of mind and we should have a fit body and mind. So that condition is well-being. So, health means well-being. In which dimensions well-being? In different dimensions. In social dimension, social well-being, physical dimension, body must be well, and emotional, emotional well-being, that is mental well-being. Socially, mentally, physically, emotionally, if you are well-being, then you can say that you are in the state of complete health. So it is very important for everyone to protect their health, to be in the healthy state. So to maintain that well-being in their body, not only individually, in a society. So that means good social relations good mental health, good physical health and good emotional balance, then we can say that healthy. So the health is disturbed at different situations because of different reasons. Sometimes it leads to poor health, sometimes it leads to ill health, illness. So in this chapter we are going to discuss about various factors that are responsible for the illness. Personal and community issues. To be healthy, we can take certain steps, that is our personal hygiene, maintaining a good uh, nutrition, balanced diet. So such way by taking the personal care, personal attention and preventive measures, we can maintain our health. But we are living in a society. Society means people. It's a group. So when you are living in a society, if you take care of yourself, it is not enough to maintain the health. Because every members in the society as a whole, they should take care of the healthy measures. Say for example, you are living healthy. But you may be affected by diseases because your next neighbor person may be throwing the garbage in your compound. So, or uh, they may be uh, leaving their sewage into the roads which may lead to breeding mosquitoes which may infect you. So, when we are living in a society, it is a common responsibility of everyone to keep our surroundings clean. So, if that is not achieved, so the environment or the surroundings or the society is not taking the preventive measures. So definitely there is a chance of disturbance in the health of a, an individual person. So it is not an individual concern, the whole thing. We see that in certain cases the whole community is affected in case of a cyclone, in case of floods. Sometimes in case for example uh, a municipal tap which carry the municipal water, if the tap is leaked near a drainage. If the drainage water enters the tap water, so the line which is supplying the water for uh, how many houses, all the people, most of the people will get affected. The whole colony may be affected by some infectious disease like uh, cholera or something because of the damaged pipelines. In such a way, 
sometimes the total community health is affected that is due to the problems in the environment so as we have studied that health is a social issue so social health is important so everybody in the society should be responsible for a healthy life so what do we understand from this that is the responsibility the public responsibility and cleanliness of the surroundings is important for one's health so for our personal health personal health it cannot be achieved by one person so responsibilities of the total community public responsibilities so that is the reason why people should not forget their public responsibilities because that is important for maintenance of health of every person in the society so what are the various factors uh, uh, necessary for maintaining proper health so we have uh, seen that public hygiene or community hygiene is important community hygiene is important or cleanliness in the surroundings is important the same cleanliness in the surroundings is important and for a person to maintain proper health he need good food so food there are two different uh, factors here for some people food is available but they don't take proper food that means they don't take balanced food they take junk food so that leads to some kind of health problems but there is one more issue here availability of the food is diff is difficult for certain groups in the society because of social differences certain people because of their social difference because of their poverty because of their unemployment they may not be able to get proper amount of food which by which they may not have proper health they may have poor health so why they don't have proper food unemployment why there is unemployment because of this unemployment it may be because of population overpopulation this may be because of uh, poor economic standards poor economic standards poor education there may be so many social factors related to that so once health is affected by the social conditions and social factors also so health is affected by the community hygiene at the same time the food the earning source of the food and other social conditions 